All right guys, so I tried the Huron River this morning and they weren't on the river yet. So I was just kind of scouting all day. Saw this golf course that has had 200 geese on it. I went and asked if I could hunt it and I got permission, which is awesome. We're gonna see how it goes. There's the decoys all set up and a little U form so they should land right in front of me. So we're gonna stick it out here till about 1.30. You almost had some there. I know. They came pretty deep. Oh, I was watching. I thought they were gonna come in and land. I know. They were pretty well locked up, but they just seen something that they didn't like. It could be. It wasn't me. I stayed inside. I saw them <laughs> circle. I said, they're gonna, they might get some. They circled us for a while. Like yeah. then the birds have been shot at a bunch this year. Yeah. Oh, they know. Yeah. Guys, as you can see, we didn't get any luck with the geese on the golf course. What happened was there was a big cold front that came through that pushed them over to the cornfield across the road. And I was hoping that they would come and come to the golf course because there was open water that we busted open and sit there and have a drink and rest. But that cold front pushed them over to the cornfield to feed and we couldn't get permission on the cornfield, so the golf course still has potential. It's just during cold fronts, it's hard to compete with a cornfield that was just cut. So that's what happened with that. And I still had fun and learned new things, and now we have a new spot to go to. So that's always a plus. Guys are getting an A-frame blind. That's right, Brandon got an A-frame blind super excited to have that out in the field um not only in fields but alongside lakes uh where there's cover that we need the a-frame blind at to hide us better it's gonna be sweet and i cannot wait to use it um another thing with hiding better and camouflage so when you're going out i know i do it sometimes and it's hard and i mean every hunter does it but you gotta cover your face and you gotta cover your hands because the birds can see that when they're up in the air because they have such precise vision that they can spot out anything. Although you might think that you're covered, you gotta go the extra mile and really cover yourself up, cover your whole face, cover your hands. That way they can't see anything. So that's something that I need to work on too. And just a little tip for you guys just to increase your chances because without that you know they can see it and it could potentially ruin your hunt so hopefully you guys are going to get out on thanksgiving and go do some hunting and if you are i hope you guys have good luck and like i commented on facebook if you guys ever are interested in hunting with us say duck hunting um leave a comment and or just you know send us a message or an email and just say, hey, you know, I'd, I'd love to go out with you guys and see what it's all about. Cause sometimes, you know, maybe you wanna go hunting and maybe you've never done it before and you don't know how to start. So we will take you guys out. We have everything. We run AVNX decoys and hardcore decoys and we just got an A-frame blind. Possibilities are endless. So if you guys wanna go out and do that and have some fun, let us know and we can make that possible. And I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving and I'll be out deer hunting. So I'll have that video coming out after Thanksgiving, but have a good Thanksgiving. Thanks for watching as always and stay tuned.